How y'all doing? Y'all know my name, Marcus Randolph. Well, you know, this year's been like a crazy year for me. Um, trying to maintain marriage, uh, trying to maintain a radio show, which we all know is ended. Trying to get back into comedy and doing a few things, you know, just working, 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 grinding. Now, a job that I've had for almost 10 years is gone. Did I get another job? Yeah. I don't want to start over just like most people don't. Sometimes that's what you have to do though. You have to just start over. Don't worry about it. Right now I'm battling the system. And you're going to have to battle the system. You know, if you want to live or let live, you got to deal with a few things. I even stopped going to church. I said, fuck it. I'm not going to church right now. I got too much on my plate. Got too many things I'm dealing with. Not to say I'm leaving God. Just didn't want to go to church for a while. I had too many other things that's going on, and as you can see, you still get stuck with a lot of stuff. My job has been one of those places that you work at. My dad even called me. You don't need to put nothing on Facebook. You don't need to do this. You don't need to do that. Why not? I'm not a slave anymore. Never been a slave. But I'm being treated like one. It's like, do what I tell you to do, and you better do it. If you don't do it, you're fired. And you know what's, what's more disturbing to me than anything else? Even though I'm going through everything I'm going through, it's actually, and I'll be straight up, y'all. I've had five supervisors up there. Five. Never got wrote up. Four of them were white. Or one of them, I, I, I take that back. I think it was three that were white. One that was Spanish. As soon as I got with a black supervisor, I mean, wrote up pretty much regularly. No matter what, get wrote up. No matter what you do, get wrote up. Not wrote up for numbers or something like that. I get wrote up for dumb stuff. Like, okay, well, I feel like I need to write you up over this. You know, uh, one time doing too many jobs, and well, you ain't let me know you want to do the last one. I right, did double what you asked me to do anyway. So I get rolled up for it, okay? So at this point, I'm like, okay, time for me to go. I ain't got time to keep fighting for something or somebody or even listening to somebody that's, that doesn't have my best interest at hand. I hate the fact that black folk put each other down when they think we gonna go faster than them or ahead of them. That's that's what we do. I don't have white folk doing that to me. I have a black man and a black manager, black supervisor, black manager, both of them after me. Because I wouldn't go with the flow. I would not go with the flow. Should I go with the flow? Hell no. This is the reason why. Because if I go with the flow and I don't take you with me, what well, is their job is in danger. That's what's going on. My job was not in danger. Their job was in danger. So their way of taking care of business was to take as many people with them before they go. It's been a long year. And I gotta start over I gotta start completely over. Completely over. Making more money though. Hey, so take it that, you know, hey, thank God for that. You know, you gotta, although I'm gonna be less as far as my benefits, but money wise, I'm gonna make more money. And I told you guys I would do this once a month just to let you guys know that we're still doing all right or we're not doing all right. I don't feel like I'm doing all right just because I have to start over. But guess what? That ain't my will. That's God's will. You gotta let stuff go and let God handle it. Okay? You gotta let God handle it. We stopped the radio show because, number one, my wife is in nursing school and she's about to get to the hard parts of it. And if I did a show, it would what it would do is, is she would be compelled to, to actually do the show instead of focusing on doing the nursing program. So, for you, for everybody else, and this man's point of view, look, 
I've never had to step on somebody to get ahead. Never. I've never had to step on one person to get ahead. So why do you do it? Think about that. If you got to step on somebody to get ahead, then you ain't got it in the first place. It is what it is. It ain't what it ain't. I've never had to step, step on somebody to go get ahead. I got ahead a long time ago, and I was targeted because of how much I make. Now I'm going to make more money. Just have to go somewhere else and start over. Hey, it is what it is. I love it, though. Love life. Let people be people. But you should never be a person that takes somebody else's job, welfare, money, or step on somebody to get ahead. You should never be that, that person. The reason why you should never be that person is because if you're that person, believe me, you have a downfall coming. May not happen today. May not happen tomorrow. May not happen from years from now. But when it gets you, it's going to get you good. Now, from this man and woman's point of view, my name is Marcus Randolph, and this is on behalf of my wife and myself. See y'all later. Keep it positive. Be good people. Never step on a person because somebody's going to step on you back. You don't know when it's coming.